Welcome to our coverage of the final session of the 2000 Qantas International Gymnastics Challenge coming to you from the Sydney Superdome. We've seen a remarkable week of competition with the world's very best in action. There are five more gold medals up for grabs tonight in the apparatus finals. The men will be performing on the vault, the parallel bars and the high bar and the women in action on the beam and the uneven bars. Liz Chekovic joins me in commentary and Liz, a terrific night for the Aussies last night. We picked up two golds and two bronze in the first lot of apparatus finals and possibly more on the way today? Well, we should hope so. We've got the top qualifiers on bars and beam tonight. Alana Slater on bars unveiled her double twisting double salto the other night and we hope she can repeat the performance. On beam we have Trudy McIntosh and Melinda Cleland. They'll be pushed by Sarah Murrow of Spain, so it should be a pretty good evening. And the first women's final today is the uneven bars. Here's our top eight qualifiers. Sara Morrow of Spain, Jeanette Antolin of the USA, Emily Fournier, the all-round champion, Esther Moya, the gold medalist on the vault, Jackie Dunn from Australia, Natalia Horodini, Yang Yun of China, and Alana Slater, the Australian, the top qualifier. Commencing the women's uneven bars final competition, representing Spain. First to go on the bars is... Spain, Sarah Morrow. Stall to roll through to Eagle Grip. Healy turn. Second Healy turn through to Jaeger. Plenty in this routine. Giant half, Healy turn down. Counter swing legs together. And full in, back out. Some leg separation as she releases the bar, quite noticeable. And a small shuffle of the foot on the landing. So here's that Healy turn through to Jaeger. Catches that at a reasonably good distance. Watch for the feet as she leaves the bar. Right apart there. You get an appreciation for how tiny she is with that shot. She's 15 years of age, but she is one of the smallest Score. competitors here. Here comes her score, a 9.487. From America, Jeanette Antelin, her only final. So her one big chance here. She came in as the fourth qualifier. And let's watch out for her first release. Only girl in the world to perform it, and it's quite spectacular. L grip through to layout Jaeger. Oops, missed it. She looked like she had it. Well, looked like the correct distance even. That's a bit of a mystery as to why she's peeled off. She had no problems in the warm-up, catching it quite easily. Now she has to regroup and finish off this routine as best as she can. She has such a powerful swing. So through to reverse grip, under swing to the low bar. Nice little connection. Swinging back to the L grip again. Good dismount. Double front half out from an L grip, which is most unusual. Quite an innovative routine from Jeanette Antelin, but that fall will cost her dearly. A lot of swing. Let's see what happens here. Does she get her hands on? She looks like she does. I think she just didn't reach properly with the right hand. The left hand was right there. And the dismount also from L grip. Kicks it up, starts as a pike and finishes with a tuck. 
There's the score, and it's a disappointing 8.862. We're now looking at the individual all-around champion and the only girl to qualify for all four apparatus finals, Emily Fournier of Canada. Giant one and a half, half turnout. Roll to eagle grip giant. A little bit of bent arms coming over the top of the bar there. And Ginga, a bit heavy, close to the bar, so lacking a bit of amplitude through this section. Gathering a bit of speed now. And double straight. It's a good routine. The impressive thing about Fournier is she's just been so consistent right throughout this competition. She really hasn't put a foot wrong. And here you see the L grip giant half pirouette a small arm bend coming over the top and into the ginga and arms bending a little bit as she's catching ideally want full stretch under swing to the low bar nice height on the dismount and good body position as well she just got picked for the bronze medal on the floor by australia's brooke walker uh, a 9.4, not quite as good as Morrow's 9.487, but at the moment, Fournier is in second position. Zero. The women's uneven bars final, representing Spain. I was on Moya, Spain, Este Moya. From Spain, Este Moya, the gold medalist on the vault. Doesn't waste any time getting onto the bars. Swing through to reverse grip, full pirouette. Another full pirouette through to eagle grip and a release. So nice combinations there. A little bit original. Clean worker. Smooth into her Kachev. Spanish girls have very nice body lines through all their work. And a double front half out sticks the landing. So that is. The best routine we've seen so far. Well, her teammate, Sarah Morrow, has the score to beat at this stage, a 9.487. A very impressive routine from Esther Moyer. So you can see the pirouettes through to that reverse grip it was, and uh, Jaeger. Little backward circle around, up to the high bar. And the dismount, very clean. A tiny bit of leg separation as she releases the bar, but a good landing position. In the men's competition today, she qualified for the, the final in eighth Murray position, Murray just sneaking in. But she's really stepped it up a notch here in the final. The score through a 9.525, and she moves into the lead. The first of the Australians is Jackie Dunn, and the crowd comes to life. The Aussie girls qualifying one and two. Jackie Dunn in second position after the all around. But only just by a whisker. Healy turn through to eagle grip. Half turn, or another Healy turn out of that, so into Jaeger. Pack Salto. She threw mostly the difficult part of the routine, just a tiny little bobble there on that handstand half. Giant fall, Arabian double dismount, and a stick. Well, one tiny little error in that program, but at this level, one tiny little error can make the difference between gold and no medal at all. So mm -hmm. I think we, we should uh, nickname her Miss Reliable yeah, on this apparatus yeah, because she's really this, gaining a reputation last for last always last hitting this routine. It's great to see. There's the pack salto. Now watch for the little bit of a leg separation. I think she wasn't sure whether she was going to get over or not. Just a minor problem, though. 
And the dismount Arabian double front. She's done a very good routine. She goes up, it's a 9.612, and Jackie Dunn takes over the lead. Representing Ukraine. Back across on the bars, the Ukraine's Natalia Hordini, 15 years of age, one of the youngest competitors in the field. Third best qualifier. Stalled up, rolling through to Eagle Grip. Nicely performed Pike Jaeger, transferring to the low bar with an underswing. And back into eagle grip and full pirouette out of that eagle grip giant. And Arabian double front, pretty good landing, so an aggressive bar routine from Horodini. Well, this is going to be interesting. 9.612, Jackie Dunn score to beat. In the evaluation of the women's routine so this a very nice to perform Pike Jaeger. To that evaluation, the value parts, that is the difficult elements, bonus points, which equals one. one scoop onto the bar, transferring back up to the high bar. The gymnast needs two bar changes the during the routine. The special requirements peculiar to that event. The combination of instruction and, and Arabian double front knees tight together. Very nice to see that. Looking for the score, and she moves into the lead. A 9.650. From China, the all around bronze medalist, Yan Yun. Very promising up-and-comer on the Chinese scene. Reverse grip swing and a full pirouette around one arm. It's called a B after a Chinese teammate. Straight into release and down to the low bar using a pack salto. Little squat on the low bar there attracts a one-tenth deduction. They're supposed to go through a handstand or high cast. Whoa, too far. So with that fall, that assures Jackie Dunn of at least one medal, at least the silver, or sorry, at least the bronze. She's in second position so far, so it will depend on what Slater does, whether she gets the bronze or the silver. Double layer. Looked like she slipped off the bar just slightly. Oh, she looks quite upset. The Kachi of itself was beautifully high, just a little bit backwards, unfortunately. And watch this swing around one arm. That's the B through to eagle grip, straight into the release. Amazingly difficult combination. Pack Salto. The glide, half turn glide compositionally is not the best. And she's swinging from eagle grip there, half turn, Kachev, and just too long. Coach stands in in case she's going to hit the low bar. Well, that fall attracting a 0.5 deduction and will certainly rule her out of medal contention. The Chinese girls, when they hit their routines, they just look fantastic, but tend to be a little inconsistent at times. The score from Yang Yang, China. Yang, Yang's score coming through now. And it's a disappointing 9.075. Well, the final competitor in the bars is Alana Slater, the top qualifier. It all comes down to the next few minutes. She's had a very, very long wait. Reap half turn right on top of the bar. Looks good.
good so far. Needs to do a clean part through here. She has a hop full. That's nice. Excellent. Now the main section here is her new dismount. It's an unknown. She's only performed it once before. It's a double-double. Oh, oh, brilliant! Well, what a performance from Alana Slater. That's got to be good enough for the gold medal. Can this girl perform under pressure? She's great in these big meets. Good work in Africa. The national okay. champion. Gymnast line up. Alana Slater of Australia has just completed her own bar routine. And it's this one. It's got the Jaeger through to the pack Salto. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit close on the Jaeger if we were getting fussy about it. A little connection through to the high bar there. You can hear the cheer from the crowd going up. And it's because there's a 9.775 for Alana Slater and she is our gold medalist. So... The results of the uneven bars final, and it's great news for Australia. Alana Slater first, Natalia Horodini of Ukraine second, and Jackie Dunn picking up yet another medal for the Aussies in third position. International Gymnastics, women's uneven bar gold medalist, representing Australia, Alana Slater. Now collecting Australia's third gold of the meet, Alana Slater on the bars. Outstanding performance. The national champion, who's our highest placed at the World Championships, finishing ninth all around. An exceptional the performance. Taking the silver, Natalia Korodini of Ukraine. The Ukraine athletes uh, performing well. At the Super Dome. Yes, they'll certainly be taking some medals home. The bronze medal awarded to representing Australia, Jackie Dunn. And adding to our tally, Jackie Dunn. Okay. Young South Australian. It's good to hear Australian audiences really getting behind their athletes when they get the chance. We have a tendency to be a bit quieter than some other audiences when they've got their athletes performing in front of them. It's, uh, things are changing a bit, I think. Good crowd turning up today. It certainly is, and they're being treated to quite a display from these gymnasts. And, of course, it's always nicer when the home team wins. <laughs> Not that we're biased, of course. Not up here. And so there's our final results. Alana Slater, gold. Natalia Horodini, silver. And Jackie Dunn, bronze. Special moment for Alana Slater. Big things expected from our women's team at the Olympics and, and the preparations the right on track at the moment. So Alana, you've just picked up your first gold international medal. Yes, it was very exciting. Uh, your bar routine, a very difficult bar routine, only the second time you put that dismount in. Yes, it is the second time. Did it first the other day and today I was just hoping to do it the same as what I did 
the day before and go for a tidy routine. And I thought the second half of your routine looked particularly sharp today. Yes, I think it's the best second half I've ever done in my routine. A little bit more confident than what I had done before. I've been hitting my routines a bit more. So, yeah, I was a bit more confident, just went for it. Had nothing to lose, really. Congratulations on your medal and we wish you luck in the next couple of months. Thank you very much. Gymnasium currently means high school in Germany, where it's believed most students actually wear clothes, especially in winter.